You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but delaying the truth... Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. We're all that's left, Scott. I know. But... Two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. Uh-huh. Then I guess I'll overlook your little embellishment. You told me we found home. I... Yeah, yeah. I know you meant well. But no more lies, okay? I'm a big girl. I can handle it. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. <sighs> Better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Reka. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you President of the Universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Rider. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. Alright. Uh, Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sams. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? Dad was showing off Sam to Mom for the first time. Poor Mom. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7, the things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. 
When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. <laughs>